Good morning, everybody. We are at the Indianapolis Maintenance Center, and I'm with pilot Pat Gannon. Good morning, officer. Good morning. Good Captain, thank you for doing this with us. Sure always been fascinating to me. We did a story like this a couple of weeks ago with some students, uh -huh. and now we're with the professionals. Right. That would be you. I want to talk about, before you get in and fly this baby, tell me what you do. Let's walk around and tell me what you do. All right, well, first thing you do when you show up is you uh, power up the airplane, uh, and then you, you start all your checklists, right? You oh, the wanna, plane's already powered up. Uh, this one right now is not powered up. No, but up, you would but be. We would normally okay, power it up, right, yes. Yeah. Um, so, and then you get through all your checklists, right? So the first thing you need to do is pre-flight the airplane. So you need to make sure it's good to go, it's uh, good for this flight. So you do what's called a walk around on the outside of the airplane. You start out and you're basically checking just general condition of the airplane. No leaks, no dents, everything's intact. Um, you can see these probes here. You, know, you want to make sure that there's no obstructions in those probes. Uh, the, just the general condition again of the front of the airplane. And you would get up in, normally you would get up inside the wheel well a little bit, check out those springs, make sure those are intact. So real quick, what's uh, something you might see that you would be unhappy about? Well, uh, one thing you would need to take care of here while we're in the maintenance hangar is you see here, we've got this flag. Uh, this is a gear pin. So while these, while these airplanes are in the hangar, we pin the gear to make sure they won't accidentally retract. We need to take those out so that when we fly, we, uh, we can retract the airplane. Gotcha. Uh, something you might find is a cracked taxi light. We've got a you know taxi light and a landing light here. One of those could be cracked, um, whether they get an obstruction on the runway or uh, winter time sometimes, you know, with the thermal shock and whatnot. That would require no fixing or yes. canceling, uh, whatever well, comes for quicker. For a light, you wouldn't cancel. You would uh, you'd, we have enough other lights on there that we can go oh. with, with a certain amount, but that would require us to get through uh, some maintenance documentation, okay. uh, especially so for the So there's a redundancy for that? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, okay. there's, there are redundancies in for every system. everything. Yeah, absolutely, everything. absolutely. absolutely. Right. Um, Again, you'd continue walking down the airplane, checking for general conditions. The cargo door here for the forward cargo compartment. Uh, we would uh, open that up and make sure what's in there, what we have documented in there, is what's actually in there. Right. Uh, inlets down here for the packs, so the air cycle machines, you, uh, no obstructions again. Mm -hmm. Continue to walk in. Here's more lights, landing lights, taxi lights, and the leading edge of the airplane. Uh, landing gear, uh, again, general condition of it. Just the side of the uh, side of the engine, the pylon. Make sure all the panels are in place. Um, wow! And there was one thing here. I got to wrap this up for this segment. Sure. Tell me what this one thing. These. Was it these over here? On top of the flight. You, back you, here, I think. Yeah, back here. We were here. talking earlier. These are yeah. static wicks on yeah, the end of the yeah, airplane, yeah, yeah. or the end of the wing. Yeah, at the end of the wing. What are yep. those? Those are static wicks, so those help discharge the static as we're flying along. Uh, you see, there's nine of them on the that wing tip. Uh, and then we've got more on the tail, on the the rudder, the elevator, uh, more on the other wing. Uh, so we need, you know, we would check the general condition of those, make sure they're in place. Sometimes when the static discharges, it'll take off the end of a tip or something like that. So we'll just uh, get maintenance to put a new one on. Let's assume we're all set. I know this usually takes longer, probably about, oh, what, about sure. how, how long. No, it doesn't take. We can get around the airplane in six minutes or so. Okay, we are going to go up in the airplane sure. now and do another checklist. Stay with us. We're well, looking forward to it. it